Farming God's Way is an amazing solution to the food security and poverty crisis in the agricultural domain. Farming God's Way is not just a technology, but a well-balanced biblical management and technological solution to equip you to use what God has put in your hands and reveal the fullness of Jesus' promised abundant life. Kale, rape, and collard greens, surface composting technique. This leafy vegetable is popular in Africa, and many variants occur from more traditional kale to sukuma wiki in Kenya. They are all from the Brassica oleraceae family, and although similar to cabbage, they are much easier to grow. They are similar to spinach in that they also produce leaves which can be harvested for long periods of time. In rape's instance, the plant just continues to grow taller and taller. The leaves are very high in vitamin C as well as vitamin K and antioxidants. Kale has an optimal growing temperature from 7 to 24 degrees Celsius and should be planted in spring and again in autumn as it does not handle extremely high temperatures at seedling stage. Final plant spacing is 30 centimeters between plants in triple 37.5 centimeter rows. Split the 75 centimeter row in half, planting at 0, 37.5 and 75 centimeters. Then start again on the next 75 cm permanent peg to allow for access for easy harvesting of the leaves. If you have a small home garden, then use the 37.5 spacing throughout to make best use of your limited space. Place a top string or measuring rope from one 75 cm permanent peg to its adjoining peg on the opposite side. Next place temporary pegs 10 cm down from the permanent pegs and place another string there to establish the surface composting band. Make sure both the ropes are taut and straight by lifting and dropping them. Move God's blanket down slope of the 10 cm planting band to ensure none of it gets buried. If you bury the blanket which has not yet decomposed, it can cause the soil to go through a negative nitrogen period and reduce crop yield. Push the fork 30 cm deep and pull it backwards a little until you see the soil loosen or fracture. Remove any stones or rocks that you feel with the fork, but don't be tempted to lift or turn the soil. You should be merely fracturing it. Keep on fracturing this every 10 centimeters along the row line. To correct acidic soils and allow for readily available plant nutrients, evenly sprinkle one tablespoon of wood ash or bone meal or one teaspoon of lime every 60 centimeters on the planting line. Place compost on top of the 10 centimeter wide band, five centimeters deep evenly across the line. It is not necessary to work the compost into the soil. Repeat this process again for each 37.5 cm row, which will allow your kale to establish a good canopy closure. But remember to leave an access walkway after every triple row to allow for easy harvesting of the leaves. Kale is a medium feeder, but it will be in the ground for up to six months, so it is essential to feed it well from the start. The system of surface composting is following exactly what the Lord of all creation has shown us since the beginning of all time, where he designed for plants to feed from the top. With seed, in the middle of the composting band, press down with a hoe edge to establish an accurate and even 2 cm planting furrow. Plant the kale seeds 2 cm deep and at 15 cm apart. Cover the seeds by pinching the compost closed and gently firming up the compost. Water in well. Thin down to 30 cm intervals after germination. Don't put the blanket on top of the band until after germination has taken place, where after the blanket can be brought up against the plant bases. Ensure the blanket is at 100% cover and 2.5 cm thick to suppress weed growth and conserve moisture. With seedlings. It is always better to plant kale seedlings into the garden compared to seeds. Place the blanket on top of the surface compost before planting. Then use a double stick with a depth marker on it, twisting it through the blanket and pressing it into the center of the 10 cm wide surface compost band to the required depth at 30 cm intervals. Plant the second or middle line of seedlings in a diamond arrangement for best use of space. Hold the seedling in place and press with a double stick or your fingers at an angle, pressing the compost gently around the seedling roots and water in well. 
When harvesting, break off the two lowest leaves, allowing the inner leaves to fill out. The plants will continue to produce leaves for a long period of time. Also remove any older or diseased leaves to encourage new leaf growth and plant health. We have had six to eight harvests from our kale crops in our six monthly rotations at the model farm in God's Way Garden. In summary, fracture triple 37.5 cm row lines. Apply one tablespoon of wardash per 60 cm. Apply surface compost in 10 cm wide bands and five cm deep in triple rows, leaving a 75 cm walkway for ease of harvesting. With seedlings, apply God's blanket. With seeds, press a 2 cm deep furrow into the center of the surface compost band. Plant seedlings 30 cm apart in triple 37.5 cm rows in a diamond arrangement. With seed, plant 2 cm deep, 15 cm apart and cover level. After germination, thin down to 30 cm apart. This vegetable series is a part of a much more comprehensive resource set, which will take you on a journey of discovery of the fullness of God's ways in agriculture. When we humble ourselves and wholeheartedly follow the ways our Heavenly Father has shown us since the beginning, we will reap the abundant rewards of His promises.